Okay, let's uh, round using significant figures. So two rules to, to remember, start counting from the first non zero and remember to add any place holding zeros when dealing with whole numbers. So the first one here, we're gonna round to one significant figure. So I start counting when I get to the first non zero, that's one. The five tells me if I uh, round up or stay the same and the four I can ignore. So this becomes 0 0.9 give my answer to one significant figure. So I don't put any more zeros in, just 0 0.9. Start counting until I get to the first non-zero, that's the four. Three tells me round up or stay the same, and two I can ignore. So this becomes 0 0.004, no further. That's to one significant figure. 67, well, the six is my significant figure, and the seven tells me if round up or uh, stay the same. So it's seven, so I do round up, so I get seven. And while that's my one significant figure, I have to put a zero in as my placeholder because 67 rounds to 70, not to seven. So four is my significant figure. Three tells me if I round up, I'll stay the same, and I can ignore the two and the nine. So it's a three, so I stay the same, so it's four, and then I put my two, three placeholder zeros in to make it 4,000. Right, now to two significant figures. So the 8 and the 5 and the 4 tells me if round up or stay the same. So I stay the same, so it's 0 0.85. No, I don't put a 0 in here. I only put zeros in if they are whole numbers. So next one, 0 0.043 are significant. This tells me if round up or stay the same. So I stay the same, so it's 0 0.0043 and no zeros after it. 67, well, they are both significant numbers, so just 67. 4,329, well, 4 and 3. 2 tells me if I round up, I'll stay the same, and I can ignore the 9. So it's a 2, so I stay the same. So it's 4 and 3, and then I put my two placeholder zeros as 4,329 rounds to 43. 4,300, not 43.